Hey, what is up guys, Chris here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna tell you about another piece of tech that I uh, recently bought and I am trying to switch, like I said, on something fast and reliable, something that will uh, actually ease my uh, workflow and will uh, make me uh, get throughout the day without having any issues with batteries or stuff like that. Uh, last week we were uh, talking about the iMac that I just um, bought from Apple Store and I'm very happy with the purchase. Uh, today we're gonna talk about a piece of uh, technology that probably uh, for all of you photographers out there or videographers of content creators is totally out of uh, discussion because it's something that you know everyone uh, thinks that it's not uh, that good for uh, you know content creation and editing and you know doing doing uh, creative stuff on and this is a chromebook and mine is an hp x360 2-in-1 14 inch uh, chromebook it's an amazing machine uh spoiler alert i really love it so for those of you who want to stay more and see what it's all about we're gonna get into it and i'm gonna tell you a few things this is my user experience not a full review if you guys want to have a full review don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, put your comments in the box down below and let me know uh, what exactly you want to know about this one i uh, might do a um, you know editing uh, tutorial on chromebooks and stuff like that both video and uh, photos but this is uh, all on you and if you want that please uh, let me know in the comments below also don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, like and share these videos with your friends uh, if you know uh, you seem that they're, they're be interested in what i'm putting up here so first of all let's start with the build quality i am uh, super super excited to say that this one feels pretty much like a macbook pro 13 inch uh, pretty much uh, the same heft and as well as the build quality though it's built out of uh, polycarbonate which is plastic uh, in the end so uh, it's plastic on the back it's like a bluish gray plastic uh, perforated up here for um, cooling uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit later uh, this uh, uh, laptop also has a fence so which is a little bit uncommon or at least not not usual for a chromebook uh, and the front, it's made out of plastic. This is a ceramic plastic that uh, these uh, guys at HP are very happy and very excited about because they say it holds uh, pretty well uh, for, you know, daily use. And also it uh, doesn't retain fingerprints that much that because it's white as well, but it actually very nice the feel it's it's super nice uh, it's like a like a very sturdy plastic also i'm super super excited to see that they put the chrome logo up here in the corner um uh, and it matches perfectly the HP logo, which is in the middle. It's not like, you know, colored or stuff like that. Most of the Chromebooks have this logo uh, in colors. This one is just black and white. I really love it. It goes well with the, the HP logo. Um, like I said, the build quality is strong. The hinges are metal, all metal. It's an X360, which means it turns 360 degrees uh, and transforms to a, to a tablet. Uh, I really, really love the form factor of the tablet. Uh, it, actually uh, brings me back to my surface pro uh, it looks very nice i'm very happy with the build quality though it's not metal i think that only the skeleton it's metal but the exterior is all plastic uh, ceramic on the front and polycarbonate on the back now in terms of io this machine has a lot to share we have two USB-C uh, ports that you can use for charging or transferring data on both sides. So if you're charging on one side, you can use your uh, external hard drive on the other, or you can charge them on both sides. This is a very, very nice uh, feature. It also has a 3.5 millimeter jack that you can use with your headphones. Uh, it has a micro SD card to upgrade your storage if you need to. And also on the left side is the power button. On the left side is the other uh, USB-C, uh, a USB-A, full USB-A port. Uh, I'm super, super happy that we have this one here. Uh, this is a 3.0 and a Kensington lock as well as the volume rocker. This is pretty much it in terms of IO. I, uh, I really enjoy having all these ports because I can use all my devices uh, no problem now let's get inside and talk a little bit about the display uh, it's a 1920 by 1080 a full HD display uh, it's not the brightest on the market I think it's around 320 nits something like that uh, but it's 
enough for using it uh, as a uh, you know editing machine uh, light editing machine on the go or stuff like that it's a beautiful display uh, you can look closely and you still not, won't be able to see uh, the pixels and all that stuff it has a great uh, viewing viewing angle uh, and also it's a touch screen which means you can use this uh, laptop as a tablet or you can uh, you know draw on it or write notes and stuff like that I uh, there was the feature that I actually looked uh, because I love from time to time to have it you know just uh, on my lap and uh, try to draw something or uh, write a note or just write my uh, scripts and stuff like that another great feature uh, it's the fact that it can be used as a tent uh, and this is uh, one of the best things for those who travel uh, you can consume your media uh, easily in a plane or in an airport or stuff like that it won't take a lot of space and that, that's great it, like I said the screen is very nice uh, and it for just consuming media it's amazing uh, for the keyboard uh, I'm gonna turn it around and show you the keyboard I think this one it's the best keyboard that I've ever used in uh, my entire life uh, on a laptop and it's a chiclet keyboard uh, just like the one on the uh, MacBook Pros 2012-2015 uh, I believe uh, the same feel is super super silent and very very good feedback uh, when you're typing on it I really really enjoy this keyboard I think it's the best addition that um, you know HP could have just put on this beautiful machine now in terms of uh, sound quality uh, the speakers are ma made by Bang and Olufsen uh, I'm not sure if they will be super proud of what they did with these speakers they're not super loud they're not amazing they sound a little bit tinny uh, but I uh, I think that for just consuming media and you know having it in, on your lap if you need to uh, just watch something or listen something it's pretty pretty good. You can also use your headphones like I said you have a 3.5 millimeter jack uh, that actually works very very well and that's that's a great addition i uh, really really love this uh, machine uh like i said a uh, spoiler alert uh, i i am using it for everything that i'm doing on the go including editing videos and editing uh photos that helps a lot because a couple of years ago i believe google uh, merged somehow the google chrome store and the google play store and not that they're, they're the one store right now but you can use both apps uh, from Google Chrome Store and Google uh, Play Store on the Chromebook. That's a great thing. I can use uh, Kinmaster or um, uh, PowerDirector as well as uh, Lightroom CC or uh, Snapseed. All these are available on the Chromebook and editing on the go a couple of pictures. Uh, maybe uh, you want to throw a batch of pictures in the Lightroom and just do like a light editing, like a few uh, adjustments this thing is great i intentionally left behind all the specs the technical specs about the insides of this machine because for me that wasn't that much important though i bought the one that i thought that it's gonna help me and it actually did now this machine it's powered by an uh, eighth generation intel processor an i3 processor that actually requires fans uh, it has an 8 gigabytes ram and 64 gigabytes of storage an ssd and it's actually a flash drive i believe so uh this is what it is in terms of what's inside the processor actually requires fans so you're gonna hear the fans from time to time uh, especially if you're watching 4k content and uh, if you're editing or stuff like that because they're kicking in and if they're kicking they're kicking for like 10 seconds they're not loud they're like a you know small hiss they're very fast and they're cooling the the machine super super nice uh, as well as this uh, bar here this perforated bar here that can uh, actually helps with the airflow so yeah this is pretty much it it. I uh, really enjoy this machine it's very powerful I uh, never believe that uh, a Chromebook will help me do my chores and everything that I need to do uh, in terms of uh, you know productivity like emails and all that stuff plus editing on the go and you know having this beautiful thing with me that looks amazing and works very well it's actually a joy 
I uh, can do a tutorial on how to edit and how to use these Chromebooks for just, uh, you know, uh, video editing or photo editing or whatever you guys doing as in content creation. I can show you a little bit of a drawing if you guys want to. Just put your comments in the box down below and let me know if you're interested in that. Thank you so much again for uh, joining me on the channel. I am very happy to see that there is a little bit of uh, interest lately and I am happy to say that I'm trying to improve my my uh, video quality and you know the content that I'm putting on give this video a thumbs up if you like it or a thumbs down if you didn't uh, that will help me know exactly where I am and what I'm doing and with all that said I will definitely see you in the next one